welcome to my channel. This is Andrea and this is AKB Bags and you're joining me in the Babe Cave with a special sponsored video from Nail Reserve and thank you for reaching out to me for this vegan cruelty free gel nail polish that they provide and they're based out of California and they sent me three gel nail polishes and along with this mini lamp in which you you dry your nails under and they currently have a discount code that I can give you and it's my name is Andrea A-N-D-R-E-A -E underscore 50 you also can get a VIP subscription and I will have everything linked down below so you can check out their products, their gel nail polish, and my discount code will all be down below. And you can get, uh, for two or more products, you can use that code. But here is the UV lamp that you use to dry uh, your nails under, and there's the power button. When you press that button once, it's a 45 second default. If you press it again, it's 60 seconds de default. There's a USB cable charger that comes with it that I just plugged into my power bank and then did it on my table as you'll see here in a second. Now we're on to the colors I chose. And as you can see, those are the three colors in pink and a green and like a taupe color. And I'll give you the name of those here in just a second. <clears throat> And it has the shade of the color on the top. This first one is called Lotus. And it's a hot pink color. And there's the shade that it turns out to be. And the next one is Romance. And it's more of a green color. I thought it was blue. But it's actually green. You'll see um, on the top there. And the last one is In the Woods. It's more of a taupe color. I haven't tried that one yet. And that's probably going to be for fall time. So yeah, I got those three gorgeous colors. So here's all the items that I received and uh, let's get started with how I started prepping my nails. I put a base coat on. First and foremost, you have to put a base coat on. Through trial and error, I have learned that you must use a thin coat of nail polish when you're applying this because if you use a, a thick amount then it's going to go over to the side it's not going to stick to the nail properly you have to do a thin layer each layer and then you have to dry it for two minutes to make sure each layer is dry so yeah there's the first coat again a light layer you can do two to three layers um, just make sure you dry after each layer I think I dried for longer than two minutes just to be sure it was dry but here you can see me using the little UV lamp that they gave me so finishing drying this and we're on to layer number two and the color is very vibrant and they don't use this on animals. I mean, it's cruelty-free product. I love the colors that I got. Um, just, it's a learning curve of <laughs> gel nail polish versus regular nail polish is completely different. So you must put a base coat and you must put a very thin coat of the actual gel nail polish. So I'm putting on that second coat now drying it for another two to three minutes right here and then there I show you the finished product of the pink which is a gorgeous pink on um, I did the my left hand here again I'm not a professional I just play one on TV so <laughs> give me a little grace whenever you see this because I do uh, also use the green and you'll see that finished product was a lot better um, but yeah there's my second hand done 
And uh, at that point, I had put the top coat on as well. So you could see how gorgeous it is. There was no bubbling. It was a smooth finish, really pretty pink color. So next we have uh, this green that I also did, and I did a much thinner layer. It worked out so much better. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate uh, you sponsoring my video, and I hope that we can work together again. And remember to use my coupon code down below. Now let's get into the Dooney bags that I'm going to carry this summer. And these are going to be my top five. This is the crossbody pouch. And it has the dark leather trim duck, which is a cool feature with this glacier blue. Yeah, it's a glacier blue and... I paired it with my uh, Coach Rainbow strap, and it looked amazing. I got a lot of compliments. Um, but, yeah, it has a dark trim. You know, it's a light blue. No feet on the bottom. Back when Dooney and Bert, or I Love Dooney had loyalty points, um, I basically got this for $27. I mean, I just couldn't believe it, so I used it on this. And it's so cute. It has the leather zipper pull. I like that it's the dark trim. And the, the strap is, it's really thin, so it's not my favorite Dooney strap for sure. It's very thin, but has the gold hardware. It has several adjustments. One, two, three, four, five, you know, five adjustments. You know, the little gold lobster claw, but just beware that this is very thin strap. But I got it for $27. I cannot complain. It has the red interior, zipper pocket, and a side pocket. And that's the crossbody pouch. Next up is this beautiful, soft, Florentine, Italian leather. Smells wonderful. And it's the crossbody Allison. But it also can be a shoulder bag. And... It has that gorgeous, like, muted gold brass hardware. And if I'm not mistaken, um, the Florentine line has 24 karat plated hardware. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know that if that's, like, on every Florentine bag or not. But uh, I love the, the yellow stitching against the pink. Uh, this bag. <laughs> I need to carry it more, and so this summer I am carrying it. it. has one, two, three, four, five. It has five adjustments for crossbody. But like I said, you can also turn it into a shoulder bag. To t You could detach this. Let me pull it back. You can detach this middle piece and then connect, and it turns into a shoulder bag. This is a really nice size for a crossbody, though. Um, it's, I, I'm going to guess 8x8. Eight eight. Let me see. Let's just measure it, shall we? Yeah, eight, approximately 8x8. Eight eight. So I was right. Um, so yeah, this is a smooth fuchsia is the color with the yellow stitching. They have so many colors of this bag. But of course I had to get pink. Here's the back of it. It's gorgeous. Genuine Florentine Vaquetta leather. And here's the zipper pull. It's the same. The braided. And then it has that front pocket that you can put your phone in for easy access. Here's the interior with the key keeper. And a zipper pocket over on this side. And then one slip pocket on that side. Florentine Allison crossbody bag number two. This was my recent purchase from Dooney.com for my birthday. And they have several colors. And this is the Florentine small messenger bag. And again, this is says it's 24 karat plated hardware. And you just pull down and then up. It's the perfect crossbody in the color natural. I've worn this several times. 
I love the look and I can't wait to see this leather turn, you know, because it's going to age and darken a bit. But yeah, this is the color natural. It looks like the shape of my Coach Emery bag. The back sides, like this part already looks like it's darker. Um, it's a little more pebbly, but yeah, this is a great bag. I got it on sale. Uh, very nice up against the body. Again, that this is about eight by eight uh, size. You just pull down and up. Really super easy little lever. Um, this strap is not quite as thin as the crossbody pouch. But yeah, it is a very comfortable... Let me get it out. And it has more adjustments, I believe, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this one has seven adjustments. And that's quite a bit for all shapes and sizes, you know, or if you're tall this will be a good bag. So, and this flap doesn't annoy me, but there's no zipper um, to close it. It just has the inside zipper pocket, a slip pocket with the red interior. It's so pretty. The color natural, it just reminds me of summer. <laughs> I like this color a lot. Although you could wear this color any time of year, but <clears throat> super pretty. The, again, this was on Dooney.com, and I'll try to link some of these down below if I can find them, but it has the back pocket. Yeah, super cool. I'm glad I grabbed this one, and, and it was on sale, so that's the Small Messenger Florentine Leather and Natural. One more thing, um, this one also can be a shoulder bag, so it can be a shoulder or crossbody because it has that detachable part of the strap. So I wanted to add that real quick. This is the beautiful Bitsy. It's the small version of the Zip Zip Satchel. And this color is French blue. How gorgeous is this? So the Zip Zip Satchel is the big size and they call these the Bitsy bags. I've gotten questions on this bag before. And these pop up every so often, but I haven't seen them in a while. So let me give you the size of this. It's about nine by seven. And the zip zip satchel is a lot bigger than this one, but I'm guessing, which I don't know for sure, that this is a similar size to the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. That I'm sure that's probably a similar size. But yeah, this color, I apparently like blues in the summer. <laughs> I really do like a lot of blues. Um, I don't know, but look how pretty with the the leather down here at the bottom, the gold plating. You can see this color is vibrant. It's like a very vibrant blue. You know, it has the double zip down like the zip zip satchel. Uh, it's a smaller size crossbody uh, or shoulder, and it connects on each side of here, um, which I don't love. But I actually like this little bag without the strap. So I like it just top handle. It's just so cute. No back pocket. It even has little bitty feet on the bottom because it's bitsy. I used to have a black one, and I sold it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have, but I sometimes I go through my stuff and I'm like, I have too many bags. If I have multiples, I'm like, which one will do I love more? But this French blue is so cool. Um, it has the one slip pocket here, one slip pocket here, and a zipper pocket. And of course, what I never, <laughs> I never register my doonies. I know, um, but yeah, there's the little tag if you're interested bitsy bag uh you probably can find some bitsy bags on the secondhand market uh i don't know you know how much people are charging but i wouldn't pay over a hundred um but i can't remember what i paid for this one but yeah super cute you know the zipper still goes all the way down to the side and i believe it has yeah, it has these side bits here that prevent your stuff from falling out. 
So yeah, that's that's a nice feature. But yeah, this is the Bitsy bag in French blue. And I love it as a top handle. It is adorable. So get you one if you can find it. They have, of course, lots and lots of colors to choose from. Um, at that time when they had them on, I think that it was on I Love Dooney. So just, you know, keep checking back. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll come back. Maybe they won't. I don't know. <laughs> but it's such a cute little bitsy bag. Here is my big giant, even though it's the small, formerly small satchel. But this is in the color pale blue, because I like blues in the summer. I really, really do. And I've carried this satchel the most because it means the most to me. Um, my daughter was sick in the hospital when I ordered this and I wanted to cancel it because of what was going on uh, at that time. But this was a really, really great deal also. Um, but she was really sick and in the hospital for a couple weeks. I don't really want to get into that. So this has more of a sentimental value for me. But I, so I won't get rid of this one. Um, also, it's it's seen better days because I used it a lot when I got it. But again, these are a little bit heavier. You can hold so much in it, and I don't know what that is. Looks like I need to clean it. <laughs> There's the tassels, and on the strap, I just looped it. So I clamped the two on this side. And I looped it through the other side, if I can show you. I looped it through there and I made it a and I made it a shoulder bag instead of the crossbody bag. Because they're just so big, you can make them a shoulder strap. And of course it has the feet on the bottom. Everybody has seen these satchels, I'm sure. They are a bit weighty, but uh, I like it as a shoulder bag, really. Uh, let me give you the dimensions of this bag while we're talking about it. And again, this was formerly known as the small satchel, and now it's just known as the satchel. Um, so if you, you could probably go with 14, 13, 14. Um, but really from... From this bottom to this corner, it's 13. And you could probably fit seven, about seven up. And it is a wide, wide back. <laughs> Let me pull this down. But yeah, cute tassels. Not everyone loves tassels, but yeah, look how wide that you can fit six. It's six depth. Beautiful light gold hardware. The whip stitching on the handles. It's like a baby blue, pale blue color. It's not super blue, it's just light and it's really pretty. So yeah, this is a, a sentimental satchel and I used it a lot when I got it. It's been probably four or five years ago I got this one. Blues were the the popular color, and they had a Florentine one also in the satchel and different silhouettes, but I really like the pebble leather, so those are my five summer handbags that I'm going to get out and carry. <laughs> so, which one is your favorite? Do you have any of these bags that I showed? Um, any questions about any of them, let me know. If you're curious about more information on any of them, let me know. And I appreciate all my new subscribers out there. Thank you for, for joining my little YouTube family here. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!